I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question based on binomial expansion. The question here is, in the expansion of 1 minus ax to the power of n, the first three terms are 1 minus 8x plus 88 over 3x squared. Find the value of n and cube root of an. Now we are given the binomial 1 minus ax to the power of n. So if you expand this, we get nc0 times 1 plus nc1 1 to the power of n minus 1 times minus ax plus nc2 1 to the power of n minus 2 times minus ax square right plus so on so the first three terms will be as shown here now we are given that these terms are 1 minus 8x plus 88 over 3 x square now comparing these terms we get our relation right so nc1 is n so the second term, if you compare, what do you get? So from here, we get NC1, that is, let's write, NC1 times 1 is 1, and minus AX means minus AX is equal to 8x with a negative sign minus 8x correct now n c1 is n so we can write this minus n a x equals to minus 8x now from here we get minus minus cancels so we get a n equals to 8 we need to find cube root of a n so the cube root of a n is equal to cube root of 8 which is equal to 2. So we have got solution of one part which is this. right? Now let's look into the second part. n c 2 1 to the power of anything is 1 and that makes it positive so what we get here is nc2 a square x square equals to 88 over 3 x square. Now nc2 is n factorial over 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial a square x square equals to 88 over 3 x square. So we can cancel x square and x square. So we get the terms a and n. Now let's simplify this part, which could be written as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. Here we have 2, right? And we have 88 over 3 a square I forgot let me write a square here okay now uh, sorry n minus 2 factorial will cancel right so we'll cancel n minus 2 factorial so we are left with these terms now we can cross multiply and get 3 a square n times n minus 1 equals to 2 times 88 which is 176 right now we need to find the value of n we know that a could be written as 8 over n so so if i from here i could write a as equal to 8 over n. So if I substitute this value, a 
equals to 8 over n over here, in that case I can find the value of n. Correct? So, so that, let's do that. So we get 3 times 8 over n square times n times n minus 1 equals to 176. Okay, so let's try to calculate this. So it's a 64 and this n we get 64 8 square times 3 and we have n square here times n times n minus 1 equals to 176. So one of these n's cancels. The other one I can take on this side. So we have 3 times 4, 12, 2, 1, 18 and 1, 196, n minus 1 equals to 176 n. Okay, 192, right? So 192 n minus 176 n equals 2, taking 192 on the other side. Now that gives you the value as 16 n, right? 192 minus 76, 12 minus this. We get 16 n equals to 192. And so we get n equals to 192 over 16. So we get the value of n as equal to 12, correct? So that is how you can find the value of n. So n is 12 for us and a n cube root is 2 for us, right? So we get our answer that is n equals to 12 and cube root of a n equals to 2, right? This. So that is how we could actually solve it. I hope it is understandable. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.